The Young and the Restless Spoilers. Title, The Edge of Desperation. Phyllis Summers stood in the shadows, her gaze fixed on Sharon Newman, who was sitting at the cafe, laughing casually with friends as if nothing was wrong. The sight of Sharon acting so carefree, so unbothered after Heather's death, made Phyllis's blood boil. She clenched her fists, fury bubbling inside her. How could Sharon move on so easily, while Heather's life had been stolen, snuffed out by her very hands? Phyllis had known the truth for some time. She had been watching Sharon, noticing the cracks in her facade. Sharon had always been good at playing the innocent, but Phyllis could see right through her. Heather's murder weighed on Sharon's soul, even if she tried to hide it. But what frustrated Phyllis most was that she had no concrete proof, no smoking gun that could pin Heather's death squarely on Sharon. And without that, the police had nothing. But Phyllis was not the type to let something like evidence stand in her way. She would get her revenge, one way or another. If the law couldn't bring Sharon to justice, Phyllis would make sure she did. The idea had come to her in a flash of cold clarity, Faith, Sharon's daughter, was Sharon's greatest weakness. Phyllis knew that Sharon would do anything to protect her children, especially Faith. And that's where Phyllis would strike. It was a risky plan, but Phyllis didn't care. Heather had been like a daughter to her, and if Sharon was responsible for her death, then she would pay. It didn't take long for Phyllis to put her plan into motion. Faith was at school, just leaving her last class of the day, when Phyllis made her move. The parking lot was quiet, with only a few students lingering around. Faith had grown used to life in Genoa City being full of unexpected twists, and she was no stranger to dangerous situations. After all, she'd been kidnapped before. But today, something felt different. As Faith walked toward her car, a sleek black sedan pulled up beside her. The window rolled down, revealing Phyllis's determined face. Get in the car, Faith, Phyllis ordered, her voice cold and firm. Faith hesitated for a moment, then shrugged. She was no longer the scared child she used to be. She had grown up with the knowledge that Genoa City was full of secrets and dangers, and being kidnapped, again, was just another challenge to face. Without a word, she climbed into the car, glancing sideways at Phyllis. Do you really think this is going to work? Faith asked, her tone more bored than frightened. My mom's not a murderer, and you can't scare me. Phyllis's jaw tightened as she gripped the steering wheel. We'll see about that, she muttered, speeding away from the school. Faith's calm demeanor only fueled her anger. How could Sharon's daughter be so confident, so unafraid, when her mother was responsible for so much pain? Later that evening, Sharon's phone rang. The number was unknown, but something about it sent a chill down her spine. She answered cautiously, her heart pounding in her chest. Sharon, came Phyllis's voice, sharp and filled with venom. I've got faith. And if you want to see her alive, you'll do exactly what I say. Sharon's blood ran cold. Phyllis, what are you talking about? Where's Faith? She's safe. For now, Phyllis replied, her tone icy. But if you want to keep it that way, you're going to go to the police and confess. Admit that you killed Heather. If you don't, Faith dies. Simple as that. Sharon's breath caught in her throat. Her heart raced as she clutched the phone tightly, her mind reeling. You're insane, Sharon spat, though her voice wavered with fear. You think I'm going to just turn myself in because you made some crazy accusation? You have no proof, Phyllis. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I know exactly what I'm talking about, Phyllis countered, her voice growing darker. I may not have proof, but I know you did it. And now, you're going to pay for it. Either you confess, or Faith will be the one who suffers for your sins. Sharon's mind raced. Her instinct was to protect Faith at all costs, but confessing to a murder she had spent so much time covering up? That would destroy her. It would mean prison, it would mean leaving her family behind, it would mean the end of her life as she knew it. Could she really sacrifice herself to save her daughter? She thought of Faith, strong, brave, and so much like her. 
Faith had been through so much already, and Sharon couldn't bear the thought of putting her in any more danger. But if she confessed to Heather's murder, it would all be over. Everything she had fought for would be gone. She'd lose her freedom, her family, her entire life. What's it going to be, Sharon? Phyllis demanded. Are you going to confess and save your daughter? Or are you going to let her die because you value your own freedom more than her life? 